Good morning. So, I am Christine Jacamada, a third year student of Central Mindanao University. And for today, I will be having a demo teaching in mathematics about arithmetic sequence. So, at the end of this lesson, the students are expected to first to define what is arithmetic sequence. Then second is the students will be able to identify and solve for the nth term. And then third is the student will be able to appreciate the arithmetic sequence in their life situation. So I hope you will learn from this demo teaching. Okay, good morning everyone. So, hi guys, good morning. So, are you blessed that you are here in school today? Well, I'm also blessed that I'm seeing your smiles today and I know that you're excited to learn new topic today. So, now, um, before we're having our discussion, may I request everybody to stand up and pick up some pieces of papers because there are a lot of papers that I see. There are lots of garbages. So, okay. So, now, after that, we'll be having our prayer. So, who is assigned for the leading of prayer for today? Oh, Miss Angela. Okay, Miss Angela, let us pray now. Okay, good morning once again, class. So, are you ready to learn new topic? But, I know that we're so excited to learn new topic today. But, before that, we'll be having first our activity. A group activity. So, let us divide first the class into six groups. So, let's have a counting from one to six. Starting from there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, group one will sit here. Group two, group three, group four. Group 5 and group 6. So, you'll choose your leader. So, your leader will become will go here and get this illustration board and some chalk to write your answer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, our activity for today is entitled Unscrambled Me. So, what we're gonna do is to arrange these words. And you'll write that one on your illustration board. And every correct answer will be having two points. So the more you got the correct answer, so the more points you will have. So now, let's get started. Wait lang, wait class. Okay, I will just give you five seconds, okay? So this one, what do you think is this one? Okay, time started now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, time's up. Raise your illustration words now. What is the answer class? Oh, very good. Set sequence, so you got it right. So this one is sequence. Then the next... Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Okay, this one. What is this word? Oh, group one and group three only got the correct answer. So this is the word arithmetic. So next, and then next, next, next. So, do you have an idea about what is our topic for today? Okay, Angeline. Mm, very good, you got it right. So, our topic for today is about arithmetic sequence. So, before we'll proceed to the discussion of arithmetic sequence, let us review first some concepts about sequences. Okay, this one. We have here circle. Square, circle, square, square, circle, square, square, and then what do you think is the next shape? Okay, in class, don't say in chorus. Okay. Oh, very good. Square. So, how did you get the next shape? Mm, you have some point and you got it right. Okay, very good. Next. What do you think is the next shape? Hmm? What 
do you observe? Mm, very good. So the next shape is heptagon. So how did you get the next shape? How did you get class? Hmm? Very good. So we have here three, three sides, four sides, five sides, six sides. So the next would be seven sides. So seven sides is called the heptagon. Very good. So our topic for today is about arithmetic sequence. So, do you have an idea about what is arithmetic sequence? Mm. Mr. De La Cruz, do you have an idea about what is arithmetic sequence? Okay. So, arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers such that the common difference of two consecutive numbers, they have a common different class. That is an arithmetic sequence. So, for further explanation, you'll be having our example so that you will uh, learn and you will appreciate it. So, for example, the sequence 3, 7, 11, 15, and 19 is an example of arithmetic sequence. Why? Because what the, what the um, definition said that arithmetic sequence has a common difference. So, if you will look at this sequence, so we will just subtract the number 7 minus 3 is 4, 15 minus 11 is 4 also. So their common difference is constant, which is 4. So we can say that this sequence is an arithmetic sequence. So, but if this sequence like this, 2, 4, 8, 16, let's just um, subtract. So 4 minus 2 is 2, 8 minus 4 is 4. So, as you can see, the difference, the difference of this one is 2, and the difference of this one is 4. So, the common difference is not constant. So, therefore, we can say that this sequence is not an arithmetic sequence. Okay. So, the um, class, we have here an arithmetic formula. So, arithmetic formula is so useful in finding the nth term because, um, example, this one. In this sequence, what if we will look for the 27th term? So if we just write 19 plus 4, 23, and so on and so on, it takes a lot of time. But if we will use this arithmetic formula, we can able to look it and find the 27th term efficiently. So we have here the formula a sub n equals to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d, where a sub 1 is the first term n is the nth term and d is the common difference so let's have an example on how to use the formula so look for the third and the tenth term of the sequence below we have here the sequence 1 negative 2 blank 8 11 14 so first let us identify what is the a sub 1 and the n and the common difference so if we have here so what is a sub 1? So a sub 1 is the first term. So automatically 1 is the a sub 1. So the n. So looking for the third term. So n is equals to 3. Then what is d? The common difference. So we just subtract negative 2 minus 1 is equals to negative 3. So the common difference is negative 3. So we have here. Substitute the um the, the terms on the formula. So as we have said, the, form the formula is a sub n equals to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. So a sub 3, a sub n, right? a sub n, so we have 3. a sub 1, so 1 plus n is 1 times d. And then, 3 minus 1, 2 times negative 3. So, 2 times negative 3, negative 6. 1 plus negative 6, negative 5. So we must be, we must see and we must know how to uh, the PEMDAS group mm -hmm. be uh, noted with that. Okay, looking for the 10th term. So we have a sub 1, 1, 10 minus 1, d, which is negative 3, and then like that. So what is the a sub 10? 1 plus negative 27 is equals to negative 26. So now let's. Uh, for now, um, choose your partner and then we'll be having our group activity. 
Ah, no, no. We will having our partner. So, the your classmate the right beside you will become your partner. So, what you're gonna do is to observe this one and you can have your discussion on how to solve this one. Okay, I gave you five minutes to have a brainstorming about this. On how does it come up to a sub 10 equals 25 and a sub 3 equals to negative 4. Okay, very good. I'll give you five minutes. Okay, three minutes. Okay, time's up. So, what you're gonna do right now is to have this. So, diba, you have your brainstorming with your partner. So, now, with your partner, you will answer this one. I will just give you a five minutes again to answer this one because it only takes a short period of time because you're gonna use the arithmetic formula, okay? Okay, time's up. So now, uh, wait, do you have any question about our topic for today or any clarifications so that we can able to clarify it? Okay, none? None so far? Oh, very good. So now, uh, get one half sheet of paper and then you'll be having a short quiz about our topic for today. I'll just give you, um, maybe, I'm gonna give you, um, 10 minutes. It's okay for 10 minutes. Okay, 5 minutes more. Okay, time's up. Okay, pass your paper now. And count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Time's up. Okay. Okay, so you have your assignment. So for your assignment is you're going to read in advance about arithmetic theorem. So hoping and in the next meeting, you have an idea about arithmetic sequence okay class very good so it is expected that you know some ideas about arithmetic series right okay so god bless us all and bless the day everyone